Greetings, it's Poisy again. This is a WoW Dragonflight Mage Tower Guide for Survival Hunter. Let's start with my talent tree, you can also find it in description. In this challenge, your gear is scaled down to 120 item level, but you can use these consumables that can be very helpful. Fight Overview The Mage Tower Challenge Encounter for Survival Hunter is closing the eye. This challenge consists of two separate fights. The first against Archmage Xylem, and the second one where you fight Corrupting Shadows. The scenario is pretty difficult and designed to test your mastery of your spec in a different ways. If you need help with Mage Tower and don't want to spend a lot of time mastering challenge, check out conquestcapped.com. It's a trusted boosting service rated with 5 stars at Trustpilot. They can complete any Mage Tower, any class, and any specialization without ban and account sharing within 15 minutes. Check out link in description. Now let's get straight into fight itself. The first stage of the scenario requires you to survive an onslaught of spells from Archmage Xylem in two different phases with an intermission between. It's important to keep in mind that this first stage lacks any sort of enrage mechanic and thus is not a DPS race. During the first phase of the fight, he will use two frost-based spells against you. Make sure your pet has growl enabled and turned on autocast. Additionally, make sure Mend Pet is kept active throughout the encounter to keep your faithful companion as healthy as possible. Remember that Exhilaration will heal your pet to full during an emergency. Frostbolt deals a moderate amount of frost damage. You might as well interrupt this with Muzzle to keep the damage intake as low as possible. Otherwise, not particularly important. Razor Ice Xylem will teleport you away and encase you in a cage of many targetable ice pillars with low HP. If you touch these ice pillars, you will take heavy damage. You need to escape this area as fast as possible. Use disengage at the height of your jump. This should work each and every time. You do not need to move or reposition yourself for this mechanic while you are inside of the ice. After a certain amount of time, the intermission phase will begin. Xylem hides himself among many mirror images and begins to cast Arcane Annihilation, 40 second spell which will wipe you if it succeeds. Right target model slightly glows. Your goal is to find the shimmering model of the real Xylem and to break his protective invisibility with your flare as quick as possible. In this phase, Xylem attacks you with a combination of arcane and shadow magic, including two interruptible casts, one far more dangerous than the other, and summoning shadowy orbs for you to avoid while you maintain damage on him. Arcane Barrage, a moderately damaging single target spell, technically interruptible, but you will want to save Muzzle for the next spell. Draw Power, a self-buff that Xylem channels, rapidly increasing his damage done. This needs to be interrupted immediately or the fight will spiral out of control. Shadow Barrage, Xylem spawns a few waves or shadowy orbs that travel fast in a straight line. You can avoid these to not take any damage. During this phase, your pet's health is even more of a priority as you won't be able to interrupt Arcane Barrage. Don't be afraid to use Exhilaration in emergencies as it will fully heal your pet. You must interrupt draw power as fast as possible to keep the damage you take low as possible. That is all there is to the first stage of closing the eye. Xylem will repeat these phases and intermissions randomly until you bring him to 10%. After that, the fight will end and you will drop combat as Xylem expels a demonic entity that was possessing him and the second stage begins. This is a single phase encounter against a single target. There are not many mechanics to pay attention to, but you need to kill the boss fast before the entire arena is covered in void pools. Additionally, the boss will summon a few adds every so often that you need to kill or they will heal the boss. Corrupting Shadows itself periodically drops a void pool on the ground that slowly grows. Standing on this void, energy deals heavy damage to you. Seed of Darkness Corrupting Shadows channels a spell and places a debuff on you. When the debuff expires, three darkness within adds spawn at your location and after a brief moment of being stationary, slowly make their way to the boss. If they reach the boss, they will heal the boss. This is a classic race against the enraged DPS fight. Not only does the boss itself have an enrage, if you take too long the platform will become covered in the void energies making it almost impossible for you to survive. When the boss casts Seed of Darkness, run far away and continue to position yourself on the edge of the arena. Then, as the darkness within spawn in, they will be neatly grouped up together. Use a tar trap at your feet so the adds will immediately be slowed and rooted with entrapment. 
If needed, you can also use Binding Shot to keep them in place. Use a combination of Explosive Shot and Fury of the Eagle with your normal AoE rotation to quickly burn down the adds. Do not interrupt Seed of Darkness, as this will cause the boss to aggro back onto you and follow you, bringing Corrupting Shadows directly to the adds that will heal it. This is all you need to do in the final stage of this encounter. Stay calm, kill the boss, and receive your fancy new appearance.